The electric supervision of fire alarm systems is critical to the system operation, ensuring smooth and uninterrupted operation. Components that can be supervised include the power supply to the system, system circuits, and equipment included in the system. In this way, open circuits and ground fault conditions will activate a trouble signal. The basic components of a fire alarm system will include the notification appliances, automatic fire detectors, manual fire alarm boxes, and water flow alarm devices. These devices are connected to a fire alarm control unit, or FACU. The system will use the following types of circuits. Notification Appliance Circuit, NAC, Initiating Device Circuit, IDC, Signaling Line Circuit, SLC. Also, the FACU will be powered by a primary or main power supply and a secondary or standby power supply. The system can be connected to an off-site monitoring system or directly to a fire department that will be responsible for responding to an alarm. The FACU is the central operating point of the electric fire alarm system. These units range from solid state types to addressable and addressable or analog types depending on the system design and requirements. Conventional FACUs will accept detection devices that provide information for alarm or normal status, meaning they are on or off, essentially. These systems are typically arranged in zones, floor by floor, or specific areas of a building. The main use for this type of system is where detailed information regarding the status of devices is not critical for reporting. Typical applications for the conventional FACU are small retail stores, office buildings, and storage warehouses. Addressable type FACUs provide additional information to the building owner, such as the times and locations of reporting devices. Addressable or analog FACUs improve the performance of the system through microprocessor features that will report exact locations of devices that are reporting as well as alarm threshold status. Alarm threshold status will monitor the cleanliness of a smoke detector to determine maintenance status and attempt to avoid unnecessary alarms. Electric fire alarm system power supplies are specified by NFPA 72. The primary power supply can be provided by either one phase of a three-wire supply or a two-wire commercial power supply and must be on a dedicated branch circuit. The power supply can also be through a generator. Circuits must be labeled as fire alarm control circuit and available only to authorized personnel. In the event of loss of power to the fire alarm circuit, the system must be equipped to provide an alarm and provide notification that the power supply has been interrupted. The secondary or standby power supply must provide power to the entire electric fire alarm system within a 30 second period in the event that the primary power supply fails or if the primary power drops to below 80% rated value. The secondary supply must have the capacity to furnish the electric fire alarm system for a 24-hour period during normal operation and for a 5-minute period of alarm operation after the 24-hour period. This is also known as 24-5 capacity. Some acceptable sources of secondary power would include engine-driven generator and 4-hour capacity storage batteries storage batteries and charger and multiple engine driven generators one of which can be equipped with automatic start in many cases the FACU is not equipped to provide electric power to all of the notification appliances in these cases remote power supplies can be installed to prevent larger wire size connections and to provide some flexibility in the system design Electric supervision in fire detection and alarm systems are critical for monitoring the integrity of the circuit. 
In the event of an open circuit or a grounded connection that is preventing normal operation, this supervisory feature automatically transmits a signal and indicates the location. For short circuit or multiple ground conditions, alarm signals are generated through initiating device circuits or signaling line circuits in lieu of electric supervision. It's important to note that all fire alarm supervisory systems should be electrically supervised, so the occurrence of a single open or single ground condition in the installation wiring system that prevents normal operation or causes failure of the primary power supply source is indicated by a specific trouble signal. Also, for supplementary circuits in an electric fire alarm system, it is not necessary to be provided with a specific trouble signal. Installation wiring for appliances and devices that initiate and transmit signals must be supervised. This applies to devices that are manual and automatic. Typical devices include fire alarm boxes, heat detectors, smoke detectors, and automatically operated transmitters. Also, all installation wiring for operating audible and visual alarm notification circuits are electrically supervised. Speaker amplifiers and tone generating equipment items are supervised. This equipment produces audible fire alarm signals. Installation wiring connections to alarm notification appliances, initiating devices, and supervisory initiating devices are supervised.